Hello and welcome back everyone. Welcome to our YouTube channel. Here inside of today's video, we are gonna be practicing some of the questions from ratio and proportion, which will be helpful for students who are preparing for their entrance examination for Finnish University. On our previous video, we have already discussed the questions from 1 to 6. In today's video, we are gonna be discussing from question number 7. Just a reminder for you guys, this is just a practice question, not a sample question or a model question of Finnish University. This is just for your practice. And if you want more questions to practice for your Finnish entrance examination, then you can join our YouTube channel membership i have posted some of the questions apart from youtube video from there you can get access to additional questions and you can practice more questions for finnish university also you can browse our playlist for study in finland there are a lot of questions for practicing for your finnish entrance preparation so inside of today's video we are going to be practicing from the ratio and proportion from question number seven this is the part two of ratio and proportion and if you haven't watched our previous video of ratio and proportion part one then i highly recommend you guys to watch the, watch the part one and then come back to this video to watch the part two because in the part one i have already explained about so many things that you need to know before studying ratio and proportion so i highly recommend you guys to watch part one and then come to this video now without doing further delay now let's head to our first question which will be question number seven as you can see on the screen the question goes like this a and b together have 1210 us dollar if 4 divided by 15 4 by 15 part of a amount is equals to 2 by 5 part of b amount how much amount does b have so here a and b have all together 1210 us dollar and from that 4 by 15 part of a is equals to the amount of 2 by 5th part of the b and the question has asked us to calculate how much amount does the b have so from the question we can simply write as 4 divided by 15 times of a 4 by 15 part of a is equals to 2 by 5 part of b from there we need to solve the equation a equals to the 4 by 15 here goes to right hand side by the cross multiplication we can simply move the term from lhs to rhs and 15 will go to be multiplied by 2 and 4 will come to be uh, divided and multiplied by 5 so here you can write simply write as 2 divided by 5 times 15 divided by 4 holes time b therefore from there we can simply find the value of a is equals to 3 by 2 b so therefore we can write it in the term of ratio a is to b equals to 3 is to 2 so the ratio between a and b total amount is 3 is to 2 so we know the total Total ratio of between a and b is 3 is to 2 and the total amount is 1210 so from there we can find the value of total amount uh, simply by multiplying by 2 by 5 because a and b are in the ratio of 3 is to 2 and uh, the part of a is 3 and the part of the b is 2 so in total there are 5 terms so adding 3 plus 2 5 uh, the part of the b is 2 therefore 1210 times 2 divided by 5 2 is the part of the b and 5 is the total addition of a and b amount so from there we can calculate the value of b amount to be 484 us dollar similarly we can calculate the value of a by subtracting 1210 with 484 or you can simply calculate it as 1210 times 3 by 5 the answer will be same 726 us dollar for a now that we have solved question number 7 now let's go to one note which will be very helpful for our next question the note goes like this two numbers are respectively 20 percent and 50 percent more than a third number the ratio of two number is there are two number which are respectively 20 percent and 50 percent more than the third number and the question is asking us to calculate the ratio between the numbers this is just a note which will be helpful for another question so here we will suppose the third number to be x so according to the question first number is 20 percent more than the third number therefore we can do 120 percent of x third number is x and 20 percent is more we have a total of 100 percent and in that 100 percent even 20 percent is more therefore 100 plus 20 equals to 120 120 percent of x is equals to 120 divided by 100 time x which will be equals to 6x divided by 5 similarly for second number second number is 50 percent more than the third number therefore uh, the total number is 100 100 plus 50 is equals to 150 150 percent of x which equals to 150 x divided by 100 which equals to 3x by 2 then we have to calculate the ratio the ratio is calculated by the first number is 6x divided by 5 ratio or is to 3x divided by 2 so we have already learned about this extreme term and mean term in our previous video also we know that the product of extreme term is equals to the product of mean term therefore 6x times 2 divided by 5x times 3 which equals to 6 times 2 is equals to 12, 5 times 3 is equals to 15, 12x by 15x. By dividing those two terms, we get 4 divided by 5. So the ratio of the two numbers is 4 is to 5. Now let's move on to our main question, which is question number 8. The question goes like this. 
Seats of mathematics, physics, and biology in a school are in the ratio of 5 is to 7 is to 8. There is a proposal to increase the seats by 40%, 50%, and 75% respectively. What will be the ratio of the increased seat? So, this is same question similar to the note one. In the note, we had done the 20% and 50% increase in the first and second number. Here, the question is asking us to increase 40%, 50%, and 75% in mathematics, physics, and biology respectively. So, first of all, we will consider the seats for the mathematics, physics, and biology to be 5x, 7x, and 8x initially. And the number are increased by 40%, 50%, and 75%. So similar to our note, we can do 140% of 5x, which is for the mathematics, and 150% of 7x, which is for the physics, and 175% of 8x, which is for the biology. By calculating all those terms, we get 7x, 21 by 2x, and another one will be 14x. So the question has asked us to calculate the ratio of the increased seat. So we calculate the ratio by 7x is to 21 by 2x is to 14x. Or we can uh, multiply all those terms by 2. We get 7 times 2 is 14. 21 by 2 times 2 is uh, 21 only because 2 to get cancelled when multiplied by 2 and 14 times 2 is 28. So therefore cancelling all those terms and simplifying all those terms we get in the smallest form 2 is to 3 is to 4 which is the required ratio for the given question. Now let's move to question number 9. So the question number 9 goes like this. In a mixture of 60 liters, the ratio of milk and water is 2 is to 1. If the ratio is to be 1 is to 2, then the quantity of water to be added is. So there is a given mixture of 60 liters in which the ratio of milk and water is 2 is to 1. Now the question is asking us how many water should be added so that the ratio will become 1 is to 2. So here quantity of milk in the mixture is calculated by same as question number 7. Uh, the total quantity of water mixture is 60 liters. So 60 times 2 divided by 3. 2 is the quantity of the milk divided by 3. 3 is the total addition of the milk and water. So 60 times 2 by 3 is equals to 40 liters. So there is 40 liters of water and uh, quantity of water in the mixture is calculated by subtracting the amount of milk with the total amount of mixture. We get 20 liters of water. So for the new ratio 1 is to 2, we need to consider the quantity of water to be x. So the question is asking us how many quantity of water should be added. So therefore we need to add the quantity of water. The new ratio is given 1 is to 2. The ratio of milk is to water is given 1 is to 2. Therefore milk divided by water is equals to 40 divided by 20 plus x. Here the plus x is the addition of the water to be the new ratio for the 1 is to 2 which equals to 1 by 2. So from the equation 1 we can calculate the value of x by 40 divided by 20 plus x is equals to 1 by 2. From the cross multiplication we get 80 is equals to 20 plus x. Therefore from there we can find the value of x by subtracting 80 minus 20 which equals to 60. Therefore the quantity of water to be added to make the new ratio of 1 is to 2 is 60 liters. Now let's go to question number 10. So the question number 10 goes like this. A sum of money is to be distributed among A, B, C and D in the proportion of 5 is to 2 is to 4 is to 3. If C gets $1000 more than D, what is B's share? So here, a sum of money is distributed among A, B, C, D in the ratio of 5 is to 2 is to 4 is to 3 and C gets $1000 more than D and the question is asking us to calculate how many money does did the B get. First of all, we will assume the ratio for the A, B, C, D to be 5x, 2x, 4x and 3x respectively. Then according to question, C gets $1000 more than D, therefore we can write C minus D is equal to 1000. We have supposed the ratio for C and D to be 4x and 3x, therefore 4x minus 3x is equal to 1000, therefore the value of x is $1000. And we know the ratio for the B is 2x, therefore the B share is equals to 2x, which equals to 2 times 1000, the value of x is 1000, therefore B gets a total of $2000. Now let's go to question number 11. Question number 11 is same to question number 7 and question number 9. Here the question is given. The ratio of number of boys and girls in a college is currently 7 is to 8. If the percentage increase in the number of boys and girls will be 20% and 10% respectively, what will be the new ratio? See, so this question is same as question number 7 and question number 9. First of all, we will assume the original num ratio of the boys and the girls to be 7x and 8x respectively. Then their number got increased by 20% and 10% respectively. So for boys, 120% of 7x and for girls, 110% of 8x. So from there, 120 divided by 100 into 7x for boys and for girls, 110 divided by 100 times 8x. 
from there we can calculate the value 42x divided by 5 and 44x divided by 5 respectively therefore we can calculate the ratio by 42x divided by 5 is to 44x divided by 5 the product of extreme term is equal to the product of mean term we have already learned this in part 1 of the ratio and proportion from there we can calculate the ratio to be 21 is to 22 therefore the new ratio will be 21 is to 22 now let's go to the final question for today's video as well as for the final question for ratio and proportion so the 12 number goes like this in 55 liter milk which is a mixture of milk and water the portion of milk is greater than water by 5 liter find the ratio of milk and water so here the question has given us that the portion of milk is greater than water by 5 liter therefore milk subtracted to water is equals to 5 liter milk is 5 liter greater than water therefore milk minus water is equals to 5 liter first of all we will have to suppose the value of milk to be x therefore by the question milk minus water is equals to 5 milk is given x we have supposed it to be x x minus 5 is equals to water quantity of water water goes to right hand side and 5 comes to left hand side then water plus milk is equals to 55 according to the question the total mixer is 55 liter milk plus water is equals to 55 liter we have supposed the value of milk to be x therefore x plus we have calculated the quantity of water to be x minus 5 therefore so substituting the value of milk and water which is for water it is x minus 5 is equals to 55 liter which is total quantity from there calculating and simplifying all the term we get the value of x to be 30 liters then the ratio of milk and water is calculated by milk divided by water milk we have assumed to be x and for water we have calculated it to be x minus 5 substituting the value of x we get 30 divided by 30 minus 5 which equals to 6 by 5 therefore the ratio of milk and water is 6 is to 5 so this is the end of the today's video for ratio and proportion so if this video was a little bit useful and informative for you make sure to leave, a, leave us a like and make sure to give us your feedback in the comment section and if you are new make sure to subscribe to our youtube channel for more interesting content like this and let me know in the comment section if anything in the videos need rectifying and if you want further more questions then you can browse our membership tab in the community section if you are the member of our channel and by saying this much i want to end this video right here thank you everyone for watching this video till the end have a good day best of luck for your upcoming finish entrance examination